everything needs to be built. To the whole thing of give, 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 and not expecting anything back. Help others enjoy what you enjoy just as much. Whether you're just putting YouTube videos, you know, on how to make awesome music, or how to, you know, techniques on how to mix better, or how to, you feel me? Anything, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is you want to do. Everything needs to be built. Everything in the physical world needs to be put on the internet. So everyone in the tech world right now is is, is already there. They're working on it, they got it, you feel me? The thing is that we, it needs people in the, it needs social, it needs the social aspect of it, it needs the humanity aspect of it, it needs all that aspect, okay? The arts, so that's where people like us come in. Because, for example, with a 3D printer, they're making all kinds of wonderful things. But it's like, it takes somebody like, I don't know, Henry Ford type of mind to get that 3D printer and be like, bro, what are you guys doing? We can make like a hundred billion of these and sell them and make, you know what I mean? Or figure out how to 3D print a 3D printer. Things like that, you feel me? Like I'm telling you, you know what I mean? Like, and it's just like thinking outside the box, not thinking that you're wrong, but thinking that, that knowing that you're right. Start again. I've been sleeping away my days, and I don't care. Using your your instincts as an artist and using this new medium, exactly what that is, it's like the most humongous canvas on the planet. And the fact that what you're doing is that you're painting and you're leading the way, you and everybody else, to Get everybody else on board into this fucking, you know, internet of things. Because the average Joe that works at a 7-Eleven or a whatever the hell, and they don't they don't know. They can't put two and two together. You feel me? But, like, you know, Juan Carlos or whatever. But if all of a sudden you explain to Juan Carlos that, you know, the Fitbit, and, you know, he puts it on, it's a pedometer, and it helps him lose weight, you get it. You feel me? But how is that gonna, you know, how is that gonna get from one point to, from one point A to point B? You know, someone had to design that shit to make it look so awesome that they're gonna wanna buy it. You feel me? And it's, it's everything. You say you make music, you know what I mean? Or you make, you know, like it's so broad. I change lives. I create businesses. I, I, I motivate people, you know? Give, 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 give it, not expecting anything back. So tell me a little about it. So tell me a little about yourself there. Uh, um, I so, you know, I'm a, I'm a sound and video artist. Okay, um, tell me a little about that. Meaning, um, sound is my main thing, and I, it's, most of the stuff that I do is experimental. Posing itself incessantly as the idealized reality, evaluating, amusing, pacifying, yet isolating. Images flutter quickly out of the grave. So through doing stuff like that, some, some other projects that I've done have gone into a public environment and I do a lot of experimental, um, aggressive, abrasive style of singing. I call the project Public Catharsis. And I sing into uh, two recording microphones. And from that, all that sound file, I then process it in post-production and sync it with the video. What happens is you have this, um, you see me singing, but you have this weird, otherworldly type of um, sound that's coming from my body, my voice, and it's from my voice, but it's transformed to the computer, so it gives it a different kind of way. So, I mean, as of now, you know, I'm seeking different ways I can apply, you know, my, my techniques that I've developed. One type of performance I've done is I've sung into a microphone, I process my voice. I sing into a microphone, and the computer, I, I program these algorithms that the computer will take my voice and it will process it and it will make it into musical themes. What the program does is it it takes my voice and it it transforms it, stretches it, like and it manipulates it. it. Right, it manipulates it, okay. um, you know, at, at any scale that I want in any way, and it, so it's, there's a lot of freedom. That I do. So that's, that's and so what, what can you do with this? You know, once you, let's say you record your voice, you manipulate the fuck out of it, right? And then mm -hmm. what do you do with it? I mean, 
Well, I make it in, in, into musical themes, and that's what I do for one, you know, that's what I've done for a few live shows. It's, it's so, like, very, like, musical ambience. themes? Like, yeah. so, like, what, you do, like, a little theme song? Like, or? I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, it's experimental type Sounds? of music. Yeah, it's like uh, ambient sound, you know, very... <laughs> Even if you use it for stereo um, stereo mixing, you know, because that's what Ambisonic also does, it has a lot more powerful of an effect of really giving you that idea, the listener, an idea of spatialization coming coming at you. So this is why I wanted to give you a demonstration. We're here on gravel, and then you can hear it. And I'm gonna walk around. It'll have a little more of like a circular effect, of a more natural effect. That's how powerful it is. Interesting. You know, it gives a better perception of sound moving through space. Okay. So I mean, so here I go. go, out, man. go out. You know, I'm walking around. We got you. We got. We got the idea. Do one more time. I'll give it a run. So if you're listening for it, you should have, you know, noticed that it kind of had more of a circular uh, motion. I'll tell you, I'll tell you probably the most viable way it could happen commercially. For instance, with like uh, the Oculus Rift with VR technology. There you go. Okay. Now the idea of you know immersing yeah. yourselves visually, you also having the headphones that really give you that um, yeah, uh, the, the full, full spectrum of uh, full you know? spectrum yeah. of space moving through sound. So I mean that's probably I would say. The most viable way that actually this technology can come through is more through the headphone tech, um, the headphone hardware, yeah. than rather than like trying to implement huge speaker systems in people's houses. That could happen. Probably is happening. In other words, yeah, it, it'll make you really feel like you're there. Yeah, yeah. yeah like the, the more you know, you're people because of people like this, because of people like Abe King, the future looks very bright. You know, in fact, you know, we're gonna be able to listen to things and be you know immersed by all kinds of things now. You know what I mean? It's not gonna be just visual but obviously, you know, we're gonna be able to close our eyes and imagine ourselves in all kinds of worlds. That's definitely I mean the way that technology seems to be working. We want yeah. more immersion. We want to right. be feel like we are in that other space. Alright. Thanks. <laughs>